I'm legally insane, and right here are 20 Nintendo Switch games, most of which are absolute trash. We're talking straight dumpster fire here, guys. The biggest garbage of the entire Wii library. Damn! But guess what? Before you go ahead and start thinking that you can take your diaper off, you're thinking, well, wait a minute. I'm used to getting all these hidden gems and bangers that I've never seen before. How come you're sitting there with 20 games of trash? What are you doing? Well, within these 20 games of pure garbage, there's some actual gems in here. We're talking the biggest, heaviest hitters on the Nintendo Wii. And I'm not going to tell you how many of them there are. I don't even know how many of them there are. But amongst the trash, there are some gems. So don't be taking your diaper off just yet. As a matter of fact, put your diaper back on. Because I already knew you were already taking it off. You probably got halfway down. Uh, you were about to switch into some tidy whities Well, you moved a little too quick there, buddy. I'm wearing my diaper. I'm always wearing a diaper. You seen these games behind me? If you lived with all of these retro games... I got Nintendo Wii's, Wii U's over here. I got GameCubes down here. Super Nintendo, NES, Sega Genesis down there, N64 down there. Th Xbox 360 over there. OG Xbox, PS3, PS2. I got everything. So let's get started and find out what exactly is in here. And I'm going to tell you what I paid for each of these uh, items. <laughs> and so, some of it's, uh, you know, I got ripped off on considering... It's pure trash. I'm going to tell you what I paid, why I bought each one of these games, and I'm going to tell you why you might also want to pick up some of these games. So let's get started. Oh, and, and by the way, these are all recent pickups. All these videos I make, they're all games that I purchased recently. These are not a hidden gems video. This is not a top 10 of the biggest trash on the Wii console. This is just games that I happen to pick up recently and we're starting off real strong rhythm heaven fever this game has been gaining popularity very slowly every year that passes more and more people find out that this game actually exists because believe it or not this game went completely under the radar and guess who published this game guys developed and published by nintendo in-house development they didn't license, license this from somebody else. And this is actually a sequel to the Nintendo DS game. DS game came out first, and apparently there's a Japanese exclusive that might actually be on the Game Boy Advance. I can't remember. So as you may have guessed, based on the title, this is a rhythm game. But what makes this game especially unique, and why this is now trending at $140 on price charting, I've seen it sell for over $200. At, at its peak, it was going for $200 plus, roughly, Canadian dollars. And I, I recently got my copy. This is mint condition. I'm talking case mint, silky smooth, on, in addition to being mint. CIB, I got very lucky with this one. Because I was eyeing this on eBay and at a local shop. The local shop had it for $140. But the condition wasn't super amazing. But $140 Canadian wasn't too bad of a price. But it wasn't exactly a deal. So I was eyeing eBay at the same time. And it looked like, you know, with, with the taxes and whatnot, the, the best deal I was going to get at that time was roughly $140 plus tax. And so when a seller was posting this in those private auction groups that I'm in, when they allow uh, the bidders to post some stuff and, and sell some of their own stuff, this guy was posting every week he had this up. And I noticed he kept lowering the price every week. And I, finally he lowered it to like 125 or maybe even 120 And I messaged him, I said, hey man, just so you know, I'm eyeing this game, and I'm just sending this message to you to remind myself so that I can go and message him and find him easily. This is a reminder to myself in case I get the money for it. 
So I'm monitoring my finances. I don't quite have the money right now. I'm going to wait till next paycheck. Give me about two weeks and I'll, I'll see how I feel and, and see if I'm going to purchase it. And he said, okay, man, listen, if you do, if you do go ahead and purchase it, I'm going to drop the price down to 115 shipped. He's going to pay the shipping. And so I purchased this for 115 bucks shipped. And he said it was in mint condition. So we're talking steel of a deal. Even the disc, you can tell it had never been played. 100% never even been touched. So why this game is gaining popularity is because it's a very simple rhythm game. There's no motion controls here, guys. This is basically a combination of... This is like Dance Dance Revolution, but without the dance pad. You use two buttons, A and B. Very simplistic, two-player co-op, fun as hell games uh, with like tons of mini games. So basically, okay, basically it's Wario, where, but in the form of a rhythm game. So at, basically, retitle this instead of Rhythm Heaven Fever, title it Wario Where Rhythm, and it would have sold a hundred million copies. I don't know why they didn't do that. For, I mean, all you had to do was throw some Mario characters on here to get the word out because nobody knows that this exists. This clearly did not sell very well. But I'm telling you, every single month to year that passes, this is gaining popularity. I mean, look at the price chart. Price chart speaks for itself, guys. Just look at that trend. It's basically a straight line up. Because once the market realizes a rare game like this exists, that's when the price increases start. And, and, and when more, more people come in every year, oh, what's that game? Wow, what is that? Whoa, it's actually really good. Well, price is going up. So I'm very happy to pick this up. I have almost every single Wii rare to uncommon Wii game in my collection. I'm almost done my entire Wii collection. I only need a handful of games, if that. I know I need Fragile Dreams offhand. And Fragman, not very many. Sakura Wars, maybe if I decide to go Wii version versus PS2 version. I've heard the Wii version's better. And Frag, that, that might be it. I can't even think of another game that I'm missing. Alright, next up, these are in no particular order, guys. So, but I do know this pile here. So this is a three-in-one pile that I got. Meaning this was a bundle. This was a bundle deal. This is Dead Rising, Chop Till You Drop. This game's freaking awesome too, by the way. Freaking awesome. I have no idea if it's a port of a PS2 game or if it's a Wii exclusive. This is mint condition. Mint, silky smooth. Brand. This is brand new. Whoever had this game, they didn't even play it. And I played this. I had this back with my original Wii that I sold a long time ago. This was one of my very first Wii games. And I really enjoyed it. It's only single player, unfortunately. Oh, it says, From the creators of Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, shopping has never been made, has never been so much fun. Oh, I didn't even realize this is Capcom. That's pretty cool. I've, I've never really played the Dead Rising series other than this exact version. And I wanted this back for a long time because I've got fond memories, got a little bit of nostalgia with this game. Holy hell, this is so silky smooth. I'll probably have to case swap this because this deserves to go in a... needs a much more expensive game in here. <laughs> I mean, the case alone is worth 10 bucks on this one. So I got... This is all a bundle. We got Dead Rising. We got Disney Planes. Tor and Tornado Outbreak. Complete hidden gem. Complete hidden gem. Price is going up. PS3 version is already way up, by the way. Price charts for $76.90. 
And that's the price starting price, meaning you're generally paying a lot higher because it's averaging the prices to, together. They are behind the trend, usually. Uh, 360 versions going for 37.40 price charting Canadian dollars, and tornado outbreak price charts on the Wii version for 16.80 commonly sells for 20 plus. And I paid for this entire bundle, steal of a deal. I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail for the second time. If the cops find me. 14 bucks for all three. So if we divide that by three, what is that? Uh, six bucks roughly each? No, less than that. Basically under five bucks? Yeah, under five bucks. Yeah, round up five bucks each. But the money's in, in Dead Rising, which price charts for 12 35 surprisingly this is not a super cheap game whereas planes oh frig planes is even pretty high up 11 79 wow weird i would have never thought that this would have any value <laughs> it's probably complete garbage regardless oh yeah by the way when a hidden gem like tornado outbreak goes up and they say playstation 3 versions worth a hundred dollars well, the Wii version is always the garbage version that nobody wants, but because the other versions go up in value, this will go up in value as well. So I'm planning to keep this for a long-term investment, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. We'll see. When I sell it, I'll, I decide when I want to sell it. Maybe I sell it in a year or two. I don't know. Konami game too, by the way. But yeah, the other versions will drag the price of the Wii version up. And we got Driver San Francisco Wii version. Now, I paid 10 bucks for this. It only price charts for $13.47. I remember why I got it. I got it because the 360 version is very expensive. And I think that that trend will continue long term. We're not talking short term moves here. And so I thought I could make a couple of bucks on this one rather easily. However, keep in mind, just so you know, that this version sucks. <laughs> in comparison to the PS3 and the 360 version. But I did notice something unique. This version says that it's four player. And when I was looking at the PS3 version, which I would imagine is the same as the 360, those are only two player. So I don't know how that works. Yeah, it says it's four players. I'm not sure if that means two players are sharing a car. And therefore... And it doesn't mention it at the back either, which is a real shame. So I'm going to have to test that out. I thought that was a really cool feature. And as soon as I found that out, I've actually... I, I don't really want to sell it anymore. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it. So I am going to keep it for now, at least. Here's another bundle that I got a steal of a deal on. Basically, the guy that I bought these from reported me to the FBI after the deal was over. I paid $15 for this entire bundle. Here comes the money! Here we go! Starting off strong, House of the Dead 2 and 3 return. 2 and 3 return. And by the way, this... Same game is on the PS3, which is the better version. They have the director's cut, I believe it's called, or extended cut, one of the two. But this is the second best version, and also you don't need PlayStation Moves controls for this version. So it's a lot more easily accessible to play an awesome game like this. Great two-player game. This is a light gun game, for those that don't know. 
arcade game. If you don't know what House of the Dead is, I, I don't know what to tell you. So we got House of the Dead, we got Cabela's Outdoor Adventures, complete garbage. This is some, this is where the shovelware is kicking in now, guys. Gave you some good stuff at the beginning, but we're going full on shovelware now. The Wii is fa world famous for having shovelware. They got the best, sh they got the most shovelware, and they got the best shovelware. And when I say best, it means bad, like the worst of the worst. Which makes it the best of all the shovelware. You thought you thought PC games back in the 80s and 90s had some shovelware? That you could buy for $2 at the dollar store? Because I bought some of that shovelware. It was actual shovelware. <laughs> and it was some bad games too. Some of, them, some of them were pretty good. God of Thunder, check that one out. Probably can't even get it anymore. Okay, so this came with Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip. Yeah, complete garbage. Cabela's price charts eight bucks, six fifty three. We got Trivia Pursuit price charts for eight dollars and seven cents. We got Wheel of Fortune surprisingly price charting for over ten dollars, although this one's damaged, and it's three player but not four player. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Look at this. Three players. That doesn't even make sense. Why would you do... Th oh, I guess because Wheel of Fortune only has three guests. Oh. Okay, sure. Trivia Pursuit is at least four player. And lastly, it came with Attack of the Movies 3D. Great game, by the way, but get it on the 360, not the Wii. See, that's the problem. Nobody wants the Wii version. This, you know, you can get some... This is a mediocre game. This, this is a gimmicky game. It's a railgun shooter, but it's fun. You got to play on two-player, obviously. Well, this one's even four-player. But the... the <laughs> That what made it, what makes it especially good is it it originally came with 3D glasses and it came with four pairs, so you can play four player. And so I have the 360 version, and I have four pairs of these 3D glasses. Really good, fun, simplistic rail shooter. But you gotta wear you gotta wear the sunglasses and you gotta get some buddies to play with. I don't play that single player. Garbage condition. This price charts for. Oh wow, 1764, but that might be if it has the 3D glasses. But regardless, these are not all when you add up all these together, we're not talking 5 bucks here, right? But I paid $15 for all of them together as a bundle. So the guy reported me to America's most wanted. Thanks a lot, buddy. You see me on the news pretty soon. Not it won't be the first time either. I was on America's most wanted before. Yeah, it's not the first time. At Hubbleby's 3D. The first ever 3D shooter. Throw on your 3D glasses and blast through the greatest action scenes of all time. Okay, next up we got Battle of Giants Dinosaur Strike. Oh, this game looks freaking awesome. I have no idea if it's on any other consoles. It probably is. Probably find it on PS2. It's four player. And it's just the craziest, strangest fighting game ever made. And there's like a thousand unlockable characters. Oh my god. Yo, this game, this game is one of those so bad it's good fighting games. Yeah, this game is unbelievable. So not only is there like a hundred unlockable characters, I don't know what the actual total is. And not only are you fighting as giant dinosaurs doing crazy arena battles, but there's also a whole bunch of really unique non-dinosaur characters and secret bosses that you can be if you know the secret on how to unlock the bosses. I'm sure it's on GameFAQ, but one of them is like selecting random 1,000 times in a row. Uh, I don't know how many times, but you just 
constantly spam hitting random and then eventually these bosses will show up that you can select but you can also play with these crazy unique characters like a giant piece of broccoli so you don't have to be dinosaurs they add in some funny characters some humor into the game the game i think i think they knew what they were doing when they came out with this they said let's make a game so bad it's awesome and so funny and stupid that you won't be able to resist. Let's add in a, a giant piece of broccoli. How, how about that? You know, they just come up with random, ridiculous ideas and they throw it into the game. Why not? Why not? That's what the developers said when they sat around a table. Combo. They knew it wasn't going to sell well. Let's guys, let's be honest here. They knew this wasn't going to be a mega hit. So they just said to hell, what the hell to hell with it. Let's just throw in some random stuff. Giant piece of broccoli. Why not? It's never been done before. Oh, here's an actual good game. <laughs> Scarface. This game's been go trending up for the last several years. And not just the PS2 version, it's the, the Wii U version's holding pretty dang strong. It's a little bit cheaper than the PS2 version, but she's up there. So I paid... What did I pay for this? Oh yeah, by the way, Dino, I paid 7 bucks, And it priced her, it's for $15.47, commonly sells for over 20 Scarface, I paid 20 bucks. Steal of a deal, price charts for $36.27. Commonly sells between $45 and $55. Scarface, Wii version, PS2 version, commonly sells for $55 plus. It's sold for as high as $80 plus. Great game. I think. This game will continue to trend up over time as well. Probably got heavily ignored by the market when it first came out. That happens a lot. Oh, Sierra made this game too. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's only single player though. Next up, we got Bigfoot. I paid four bucks for this. And I regret it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not a bad price. CIB, it's in pretty decent condition. Seller even had its tag on it. He was going to sell it for ten bucks. He's trying to get ten bucks for it because the, the sellers that I buy from they're generally full time resellers, and some of them own own physical stores, and they'll sell in the auction groups because they can get a quick sale. You know, it's twenty four less than twenty four hour auction. You get a quick, easy sale. They probably don't declare the taxes. It's on all cash transaction, e-transfer only. Yeah, so I got this because I'm a sucker for monster truck games. But the problem is I didn't look into this game, and this is a racing game. So you don't actually get to crush cars or go off giant ramps and do the actual monster truck uh, events that you would find at a white trash monster truck rally right this is just straight racing i don't care so much for the racing i want to do the actual going off the ramps and crushing the cars or jumping over the cars stuff like that that's what i like there's a i have a good monster truck game for the nintendo switch what was it called steel titans or something ah oh, man it's been a long time since i played it but it's a really good game. It was one of the very first Nintendo Switch games that I got. One of the very first. I'll put out I'll put it up on the screen. A great game. Freaking awesome game. They got all the great monster trucks in there, all the classics. Pretty sure they got Gravedigger. They probably got Bigfoot in that one too. They got a whole bunch of newer guys that no that no one knows about unless you actually continue still watch monster trucks. But back in the day, Bigfoot was a big deal. Everybody knows Bigfoot. 
Everybody. If you know anything about monster trucks, Bigfoot's the big name. Oh, here's an interesting one. This is a really interesting game. This is Cruisin', part of the Cruisin' series. This is the black sheep of the series. This is the game that nobody knows is actually part of the same Cruisin' series. Cruisin' USA, Cruisin' Blast, Cruisin' World. This is the same series. This is Midway. And it's a Wii exclusive. It's two player. But there's a catch. It's not a bad game, by the way. Uh, some people will tell you it's complete garbage. I mean, perhaps if you're comparing it to the other Cruisin' games, it's definitely not going to beat the other Cruisin' game. It's not as good as Cruisin' Blast. It's not as good as Cruisin' USA, Cruisin' World, Cruisin' Exotica. But it's, it's not too bad for what it is. But the catch is, this was actually a Fast and Furious arcade game. So this was based on a Fast and Furious game, but they couldn't get the rights to the Fast and Furious franchise for the home console. So they had to throw another name on it. So, <laughs> so they threw Cruise in. They, they decided, hey, let's throw Cruise in on it. We own the rights to that. So it's not really a Cruise in game, but this is mint condition case too. Yeah, this is the case alone is worth 10 bucks. Mint condition case is worth 10 bucks. I'm telling you right now. Oh yeah, I paid up big for this one. I paid thirteen dollars, and it price charts for seventeen twenty-two. It's been trending up a little bit. It's a bit of a hidden gem for what it is. Mario Kart Wii in a dirty case, one of the dirtiest cases I've ever seen. Actually, no, I've seen dirtier than this. Paid twenty bucks because this sells for forty bucks all day. And I can bundle this with my one of my Wii's that I still have to sell. Or I can sell it on eBay. I can do either or. And I've bundled Mario Kart with some Wii's that I've sold in the past. I've made good money selling Wii's, guys. I sold a Wii. I felt really bad afterwards. But I sold a Wii. It had four controllers. Might have had four nunchucks. I don't remember. A whole bunch of garbage shovelware games. Basically, I chose all my worst games, like 10 of them, maybe even 12. We're talking like kids' games, the worst of the worst, Gallop and Ride, Call of Duty, like the complete trash. And I sold it for $185. Some lady came and bought it, but I threw in Mario Kart. It had a copy of Mario Kart, one of my Mario Karts. I figured that, okay, that's the seller. That's how I'm going to lure some idiot in to come and purchase this. And some old lady came in and she bought it. And I thought it was for some kids. She said it was for someone's birthday. So I thought, oh, good. It's for a little kid. Because I got nothing but kids games in here. Like complete garbage kids games. But I at least had Mario Kart. So, hey, the kids, whoever gets it is going to have something good. By default, so I don't feel too bad for selling it. But then she told me it was like some 50 year old woman, and she told me it was for her friend, male friend, who's also like 50 years old. <laughs> and and she did you know she didn't know anything about gaming other than this friend said that he wanted a Wii. So I sold it to her for a ripoff price. And the thing is, the thing is, I I would have accepted a lower price. So I put it at 185, but if somebody offered me 160, 150. I would have taken it, but she didn't counter offer. But when she came and saw the games, I could tell she was so disappointed. She saw these were all garbage kids games. And she even told me she didn't bother looking at the games in the ad because she just saw, oh, 12 games. What a great deal. So I tried to, I tried to make her feel better by letting her know, hey, Mario Kart's worth 40 bucks. And this is a good game. And I felt so bad. And this is a true story. This just happened just like several months ago. I actually I felt so bad I went down to Dollarama before she came and picked up the ga the console with the games. And I bought her um, brand new batteries for two bucks a piece. So I got the cheapest batteries uh, possible, but at least there was fresh batteries ready to go. This is for somebody's birthday. I had enough batteries in there that she could plug in four controllers worth of batteries. Oh, here's a friggin' gem. Alvin and the Chipmunks. 
I paid one dollar. This case ain't too bad. It's a little, oh no, it's kind of dirty actually. Alvin and the Chipmunks, this game is complete garbage. But it is a rhythm game. And it's two player. And it has some amazing songs. So the only thing good about this game is the songs. So they spent all the money licensing the songs and zero dollars programming the game. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's it's absolute yeah pure garbage. It's it's again it's like a DDR but with no mat rhythm game. But it's not good at all, and the controls are not great, and it's motion control. But featuring 30 hit songs, including Love Shack, oh hell yeah, the Chipmunk song, All the Small Things, December, Heartbreak Hotel, Santa Monica, Walking on the Sun, I'm Gonna Be 5,000 Miles, I don't know what that is, Everything You Want, Karma Chameleon. So some of those songs I recognize, others I don't, but there's over 30 hit songs. Everybody says this has a great list of songs. It's just the gameplay sucks. And I'm keeping this. I ain't getting rid of this. This is not going in a future bundle where I'm going to sell uh, most of these other garbage games. I'm not giving to them this game to the pawn shop. I'm keeping this. This is for my personal collection. And this is a fun game. You, you bring a buddy over and you have a blast playing some bad games. That's what makes the Wii such an interesting console. It's full of bad games. It's got bad games everywhere. Speaking of which, Chicken Shoot. I overpaid for this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shooter game that clearly sucks. I, you don't need to play it to know that. I paid $4. Probably $3 too much, to be honest. But I, I, I paid 4 because somebody else was after it too. <laughs> so I couldn't get it for any cheaper. And that son of a bitch didn't want to pay more than four either. So, I thought it was pretty cool though. I'll, I'll play a garbage shooter game like this, two-player co-op. I have a good time with games like that. Here's one. I, I do remember buying this. I was desperately trying to get good condition cases. And I thought this might be a good condition case. This is the big baseball. I paid one dollar. The case is not very good though, so... Basically, I can either bundle this up with a Wii and sell it or sell it on eBay or give it to a pawn shop. Pawn shop will give you a buck. Though Pawn shop will give you one dollar for anything. And in some cases, they'll give you two bucks. <laughs> Not very often, though. I'll tell you that right now. The pawn shop I go to, they, I mean, I mean, unless it's like a rare game, yeah, then they'll pay you more money. But for shovelware garbage... They will typically not pay more than $2. Oh, and number 20, the very last game on the list. I was very happy to pick this up. I paid $5. Ben 10 Omniverse number 2. But I wasn't after the game itself. Like, I wasn't buying this to play it. I was buying it because it's brand new sealed. Meaning what I'm really after is the case. Although I, am, I I don't mind having the game as well. Some of these Ben 10 games are actually pretty fun. This is two player. I'm a big Ben 10 fan. I've got the ben, both Ben 10 Xbox 360 games. Those are the better games. I've got one of the Ben 10s on the Wii U. I forget which one. So I'm a big Ben 10 fan. But I bought this for the case value. I said, holy hell, a brand new game that nobody else is bidding on. That I can get right now for five bucks. And what I'm really after is that mint condition case. So at some point I will open this. To scout out the case. But it, it doesn't look like there's any damage. There's no dents. So I think this is going to work out great. And then I'll just sell I'll just sell it. Or keep it. I can do either or. But I didn't originally buy it with the intent of necessarily keeping it. I really just wanted that case. Very, very happy with this one. 
if if I don't have this same Ben 10 version on the Wii U, I'll, I'll sell it. Otherwise, I'll keep it. We just went through 20 Nintendo Wii games. Some of these games were complete garbage and others were complete hidden gems. And by the way, this game's going to 500 bucks. In the long run, 500 smackers. You heard it here first. I paid 115, it's going to 500. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know which one of these shovelware games you plan to pick up. Are you, uh, did I convince you to pick up Alvin and the Chipmunks? Because I highly recommend it. A lot of good songs on there. It's complete garbage. If you're into that sort of thing, you're going to have a good time. Consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to over 9,000 subscribers. On my way to collecting over 9,000 retro video games. I'm probably pretty close. I have a lot of games. <laughs>